I'm C.S. Gilmore, and this is Toby the Secret Mine. Now, I have 51 deaths already because I've actually recorded this first episode a couple times now, and there were some problems. Mostly, I had the mouse on screen. I think I have it fixed this time uh, with my recording software so that it won't record the mouse, so I won't be able to point things out, but the annoyance won't be visible. And there were some other problems also with a glitch with this one puzzle. Hopefully it'll, I think I've got, I think I know what happened wrong and I'm hoping it'll work right this time. But, to get started, this is a very Limbo-esque like game. Uh, very interesting looking. Uh, you can kind of get the idea of that I suppose from the just this. Except for, unlike Limbo, it has a lot more color. And there's two endings. Uh, one, you save, uh, I don't know how many of, the, of these prisoners, which are like your fellow villagers, I think, that have been captured by this other person. And, yeah, you save enough of them, you can get a hero's ending, otherwise you get the villain ending, I think. Uh, I don't know all the differences between them, I just know about those endings mostly from seeing achievements for them. And, yeah, it counts the number of deaths, and that's from total deaths. And there's this where you can pick which level. This is the credits, and there is no options, like any systems have screen size and whatnot you do when you click play on Steam. And this is available on Steam, by the way. And then this button down here, like this would be continue right here in the middle, and then down in the bottom right, there's this, uh... Yeah, top right is the people you saved. Bottom right is the new game button and it erases all your day all your progress except for the deaths it keeps track of that throughout all the places which is kind of weird <coughs> well maybe it but very nice game good sound like limbo they do the background they do kind of a middle ground middle ground and then they do where you were at and they do a foreground it's just it's very in depth like, the jumping controls are very smooth. Um, jumping, I jump with space. And it's very easy to do. Um, you have a very vertical jump. It's a very interactive environment, much kind of like Limbo in that way as well. Very intera interactive environment, very easy to push things though. Um, good vertical jump, but not very good horizontal, which is problematic at times in my case. Okay, maybe there's more than one of these guys, because there's the one in the back there with the boulder. And there's the guy with the arrow. You know, I'm kind of curious. I'm going to run back and see if that one guy is there still. Because I kind of wonder if this is supposed to be one guy that I'm chasing after. Or whether... Nope, okay, there's one there. So maybe it's a multiple, like a rival village or something that's captured all my people. They're a lot bigger than me. I don't know why they run away. They're just like, what, are you, what am I going to do to you? Bleed on you? Stop right away and... Like, you'd probably kill me easily. Ah, sorry. <sighs> I also apologize if I seem a little frazzled. Along with all this trouble I've had with the recording, I've also got a cold, and yeah, not helping my thought processing right at the moment. Especially when combined with the frustration of working all this out, and hopefully gain its work rate. Right. Look at that lens flare that shifts, and it's based, it's working with the background there, like, uh, see that now that it's behind it, that background tree or whatever? Now it's not, so I don't know, it's just very interactive environment, very in-depth, super well done there. The controls, yeah, very easy to use, E is like to activate stuff like the levers. Come back! They run faster than me, unfortunately. And, yeah, then each area you go to kind of brings you to a slightly different environment, like this one's orange coloration. And, I don't know, it's, it's a bit different. There's different stuff. The background itself is moderately the same here, but it'll change later, I know. 
So there's like... I don't know, there's just so much to it. Well, I guess this one has changed. There's a lot more spikes. Ah, that almost killed. Um, okay. Time to platform. Time to platform. Okay. And... Killer plan! Hi! You ate me. Ultimate has said it's a saber tooth plant. Big buck teeth. So, flies? 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 Knock that down. No, the puppy! You eat the puppy. How could you? How could you eat the puppy? I can't kill you. I can't save the puppy. Ooh, hi. Oh, oh, there's another person. The secrets are very well hidden sometimes. You do have to pay a lot of attention to where you could possibly jump through like a hole in the ceiling or something or an area in the wall like this. It's so easy to miss things. Which is probably why you can go back, kind of like with Limbo, you can go back to different sections and replay them. Because you need to in order to find everything sometimes, perhaps. So I think the villagers are still possibly a little easier to find than the eggs in the boat that unlock the secret level. I'm not aware of any secret levels in this one. Just the secrets of trying to find everything in general. I don't know if you have to find all of the villagers in order to get through, um, get the hero ending. Ah, this is some amazing graphics though. I hope you're taking this in and enjoying it. Like all the interactable objects that, or things that interact with you as you run by them or whatever, they kind of react to it. It's just so well done. Oh, it's starting to get dark here. There are bugs everywhere here, by the way. Ah, there's eggs. Hi. Did you stop throwing those? You go run away from okay. I seriously don't know why they run away from me. It's like, what am I going to do? Bleed on them? They're like double, if not triple, my size. The, the stuff flows really easily. Um, Movement-wise, like pushing this, easy. It moves at a good pace too. I like, which I like, since that way I don't have to wait forever to push this across the area. Though, um, it's it's easy to get caught on the ledges, like I did there. Like jumped up, now I'm stuck. Until I release the forward button and I drop down. Kitty, we'll feed you to a giant plant. No, we're so close. Can't catch them. There's someone I can rescue though, up in the there. Push this over here. Alright. Ah, I got caught on the ledge. You see what I mean? It's easy to get caught on the ledge if you don't jump at it right. Got that. And the graphic, like, some of the physics is very sensitive. Something like that would be. Okay, I need to get these stacked so that I can use them as a ladder to up to this next ledge. But watch, if I push on this lower box and the one on top doesn't really move with it. All that well. Whoop! And then that was a little close. Worked out in the end. Okay, phew. So this stuff moves very quickly. It's very quick reaction-wise. And there's another symbol, so X. Alright, X, circle, circle with spikes. There, and that's the, that time it actually worked. Uh, there was a, some weird glitch going on in some of my other attempts to record this in which, uh, the mouse went click. Which meant I couldn't solve that puzzle. Which meant I couldn't continue. That was very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Oh, it's raining now. And now this is very limbo -y. Like, the black and the white. And it looks like I've moved out of the forest, more or less, into... It looks like a junkyard. Like, that's what it really looks like. Uh, there's another place. They were, they're like, you know, this seems odd there'd be a ledge here otherwise. And these spikes will kill me, obviously. Nice of them to color code them nice and red to point out that they, will, they are bad for my health. And I have made this mistake in one of my other places. Oh, I just made it again. If you hit the side of the spikes, they kill you. 
apparently they radiate death from any direction. You don't actually have to get impaled by them. They just have to touch you. Hi. Okay, I've got to find a way because this light went off. I can't do anything with this lever. Oh, I touched it. Well, at least it was nice to start me on this side of it. Which actually works out to my advantage because they put a nice little light at the top of that, uh, oh, of this thing. Ah. To kind of give me the hint of, hey, I need to go off this. And uh, you may not have seen it because it was there pretty quick, is all. But, okay, I can go up here, pull this lever, go down again. And that repowered this. Aha. Very nice graphics. Very, this is very limited. I like how I can bang my head onto the light and shake it. Platform. Oh, there's the falling platforms. Okay, jump up here. What's up here? Ah! The ground went away. Then I fell. I made it this time. Let's take a look. Like, 
that goes at the mall, which opened up this one. Again, another one of the cool physics things. I push this in, and the water goes up because it's decompressed. That is way cool. They did a lot of work with the physics in this game. Oh, you almost hit me! You almost did. Okay, I know this from the previous run through. There's a gear hidden in here, which I need. Come here. Yeah, I need to... There's a button up above this floating platform. If I throw the gears in and it causes the water to rise, which raises the platform up. I have to do that in order to lower the platform, in order to activate this machine and lower the platform. Uh, I wasn't standing on that. Probably when they set it up on the other side there. They couldn't be standing under it. So then I do this. Activates the pump. I noticed we're getting more high tech, kind of like um, Limbo did. You start in a forest, go into more of a high tech place, and then. Yeah, and then eventually. I don't know what this is gonna turn into. Um, it's called the Secret Mine, so I'm guessing there's gonna be a mine here eventually. I mean, it kinda fits the narrative. Okay, so they put a lever down below so that if I fall, I can still get back up. That's well done. That looks like a danger, don't go in here, death sign. Like, we'd have a little skull on the crossroads next time. Oh, there's another person. What's this? Ooh. Um, that looks unfriendly. Lobby. Hi, Blob. Please don't eat me. Uh, dear, dear. Okay, there's nothing over in that corner as far as I'm aware. Alright, it's right that way. I'm gonna try this one. Aha, first jump. Ah, no. Aha. Okay. If I go underneath it, avoiding the giant blob monster that must eat me. I don't want to pull this lever because this pulls me back. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That pulls me back up there. Now, break. Okay. I better keep running because it's gonna come down. Ah, there it is. Okay. Jump. Jump. Okay. Bye, guy. Bye, slime. Please don't eat me. episode here and then I'll continue in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment below, let me know what you think so far. This is a very interesting game. I like it. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye!